Cheers, I do, buckaroos. I am a ton of beer whisperer. I am at my first time I've been here in quite some time, man. Uh, it's been several months since I've had a chance to get out here. Looked at their menu today. Uh, I decided to go with a dry stout. It's, it's not super cold. It's probably about, I don't know, about 50 ish out there, but just kind of felt like a dry stout kind of day. Uh, he wasn't sure if it was 4.6 or 4.8%, but it hovers right around there, which is rather traditional for the style. Wasn't sure of the IBUs. I think he said they have quit putting the IBUs up there. Of course, beautiful. This is a nitro Irish stout. The aromas are nice. It's very clean. Uh, you certainly feel the malt. Uh, you might get a hint of coffee, a little chocolate, who knows. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's very nice. It's very creamy. Oh, yeah, that's gorgeous, man. as good as any big commercial brand that you might be familiar with without mentioning any name. Um, if I had to compare it to one though, I, I'd probably compare it more to a Murphy's than a Guinness because it's a, a I think the Guinness uh, Nitro is a little bolder, the Murphy's a little creamier depending on which one you like better. This to me has more of that creamy feel that the Murphy's has. You get some coffee now, sure, yeah. Well, it kind of surprised me uh, by the amount of coffee I'm getting there. There's certainly some chocolate near the end of, of a bitter dark chocolate. Anyway, I'm not going to run long on this one. I want to sit and order the, sit and drink the beer. And who knows what else I will do. I like to wander, man. <laughs> I'm a wandering soul, man. Oh, I now have three breweries downtown, downtown Springfield. Uh, there, there are three rather close to each other here. There's this one, uh, Springfield Brewing Company, and now Lost Signal. That, that's all within walking distance from each other. So think about trying to meander and having a beer at each. So there you go. I am trying to be a whisper. Hey, my downtown brewery walking tour. <laughs> you all have a good one. How you doing, Buck Roos? How the heck are you? I am Tom Lewis, but who else would I be, man? So I moved along to Springfield Brewing Company, the second stop on my journey here. Uh, so I had a juicy IP. I was really hoping they had the Doppelbach on tap, but they did. I'm a little bummed about that, to be honest with you. I decided to have the IPA since I had a stout earlier. 5.8%, 65 IBUs, described as a fruity, sucky, smooth ale with assertive hop aroma and round bitterness. So there you go. Let me show it to you. It is slightly hazy, but not New England cloudy. If I had to compare the aromas to something, I'd have to say it's more West Coast-ish. But on the lighter side of the ABV spectrum for West Coast. But those similar aromas. Uh, a lot of tropical fruit uh, initially, uh, some citrus, but I, I got more tropical fruit than anything. Yeah. Oh, it's nice, nice, very clean, very crisp. Uh, very easy to drink IPA, actually. Uh, um, I mentioned a lot of tropical fruit on the nose. But the flavors uh, are, are a mix of citrus and tropical fruit, uh, specifically a mandarin orange, I'm going to say. Uh, and it cleans up, finishes with a hint of grapefruit and orange zest. It's very nice. So there you go. Not going to run this one long either. But I thought I'd talk to you a little bit. <laughs> we'll see where I go next. Oh, shit. What the name is?